Hi everyone, this is Jojo, and I'm here to do the Yu-Gi-Oh! update. Uh, this has been going on for a f quite, like, a month now, I think. I, I don't know, I've been out of touch of Yu-Gi-Oh! As you can see, we've been doing a lot of Vanguard openings. Uh, we're doing something big with Vanguard, hopefully, but I'm not sure with uh, the other Team Eden members yet, but hopefully in the future. But this video is just for those who don't know about the Yu-Gi-Oh! update and or uh, just me, I guess. Um, if you don't already know, then I will tell you what's going on. Uh, I only know a little bit, so I can only fill you in with that much. So let's get started. First off, game mechanic changes. Um, opening player does not draw anymore. Kind of weird, but I guess it makes sense since people open big with six cards and they figured, hey, we could limit it to five cards, but... I see a lot of uh, problems with that, only in accordance to it doesn't really matter, depending on the deck. Like I said, I've been out of tune. I'm pretty sure, I'm confident that people will be creative in this game of ours, and they will find a way to make this have, uh, make this work. So with that, uh, the second game mechanic is that you can have two field spell cards now, and well, I don't see that as a problem. It's just that, I guess, the battle for the field spell dominance is kind of gone now, so everyone has, yay, free field spell. I wish they didn't change that rule, but, oh well. What you gonna do? And, as you can see now, I got the starter deck, and the field has changed. There are now pendulum zones in between the deck zones, the graveyard, the extra deck, and the field zone. And that's where these pendulum cards come in. The new game mechanic. The lower one goes in the blue and the higher one goes in the red. Uh, pendulum summoning can only happen once per turn I believe if my sources tell me which is internet and you can summon from in between the lowest number and the highest number. So right now the starter deck comes with Stargazer Magician and Time Gazer, Mag uh, Time Gazer Magician. A 1 and an 8. So you can summon monsters from your hand well, as many monsters in your hand between level 1 and 8, but once per turn. So, if you got like 5 monsters in your hand between those levels, pew, full field. Um, I don't see that as a problem, because Bottomless Trap Hole and all those cards that stun summoning, um, you just gotta be trap heavy in this set, because I see a lot of traps, like Mirror Force being at 3 and all those stuff. And that's pretty much all the game mechanic changes that I've heard of. Just pendulum summoning, dual field spell, and first opening player not drawing. Um, these aren't as bad as you think they might be. I kind of like them, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it gives a new way to, uh, it gives a new way to summon monsters, but the thing is with these cards, I forgot to mention, when you destroy them by some other way, they go to the extra deck. So no monster warning, no nothing, bring them back. But, you can Pendulum Summon from the extra deck, so they can come back, uh, find ways of sending them back to your hand, and resetting the Pendulum Zones. But, like I said, people will get creative with this game, as they always do. And they will find new ways to make things work in their favor, because that's the way we are. And we've been doing a lot of card fight Vanguard, this is, <laughs> it's been a while since I've done Yu-Gi-Oh, so if I get anything wrong, that's... I, I, I suck at card games, so... Well... If you guys didn't know about these already, I'm glad that you tuned into this video to explain stuff to you. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. I'm sorry. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.